shifting sands and a simmering beach battle. One is shaping up right now in Boynton Beach, all because of the kind of sand being put down to fight erosion. Critics say it puts the reef in harm's way. Meteorologist James Wheeland reports. The beach renourishment project in Boynton Beach is underway. It's part of the Hurricane Sandy restoration efforts. Sand is being pumped from the bottom by this dredge just offshore, then right onto the beach where bulldozers spread it around evenly to widen the beach. State permits require similar sand be put back on the beach. That's the issue. Some people think that's not what's going on right now. We got hosed with a quarter mile of mud. Some environmental groups claim somewhere along the line the dredge hit some silty sand recently and continued to pump it on the beach. So we thought we'd do a little experiment. We put the native Florida sand in a jar with clear, fresh water, and then the dredge sand in a jar with clear, fresh water, too, and we mixed them around. Our native sand settled out immediately. It's nice and clear again. The dredged material did not. It's not going to stay on the beach. When the waves come in, it gets lifted up and the current carries it out and then it settles out as mud on the coral. Just want to make sure it doesn't get onto the reef offshore because right offshore is Lynn's Reef. It's one of the best last reefs in the state of Florida and we're going to protect that reef. We're not against these projects. Uh, we just want to make sure that they are properly monitored and carried out as the permit states. The Florida Department of Environmental Protection is sending an inspector out to do just that. Reporting from Boynton Beach, James Whelan, WPTV, News Channel 5. For more on environmental monitoring of the dredging, read the front page of the Palm Beach Post Monday and watch exclusive video on mypalmbeachpost.com.